Hey guys, it's Georgia and um, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, my cat is like sitting next to me on the couch looking so sorry for herself and it's really creeping me out. Um, so I am back again with another, I don't know, review, swatch, tutorial, whatever you guys want to call it. As again, I am being real with you, this is not me just, you know, this is me normally. Um, <laughs> So I'm happy to be back with another tutorial and this one is another one of the I Heart Revolution palettes. Um, you guys may have seen that I have done quite a lot on I Heart Revolution and Revolution Beauty. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to uh, do another palette. So this palette is one of their, I think it was one of their campaign, ugh, one of, sorry, one of their one of four palettes that they did with um like like a music theme to it sort of thing or like a fashion statement thing it was more um yeah let's just let's just get into it so the palette is called now that's what i call makeup and the front of it is this um sort of like a boombox looking sort of cover Basically, you guys probably know by the look of it, it's going to be, I don't know, music related? I don't know. Um, I thought this was a bit cool because it's like one of those old fashioned boom boxes that like in the, in the 80s they used to like hang around and work with. So this is actually the I Heart Revolution, um, that's what I call music 80s palette. So they did make, I think there was four of these. I may be wrong. Don't quote me and quote me. I think that they made like a 90s and then they made a hundreds. I don't know. It was zero zero, but whatever. <laughs> so the reason I got attracted to this palette was the whole 80s vibe. Now, if you guys don't know, I am a singer as well as a makeup artist, as a self-taught makeup artist. Um, so I, I love my sort of like old sort of 80s music and you can blame my mum for that one. <laughs> um, so I love 80s like music and all that stuff, very good music um, back in the day. I wish that uh, I would have had some experience of the 80s. Looking back at the 80s and 70s, they, it looked really freaking cool. Looked like you could chill and hang out and rock out and, you know, all the big mullets were in. So let's get on to the shades in these. So I'm guessing that um, down below are like the topics of the what they are. So this one is Let's Dance, New Romantics, Electronic, Wild Fronters, Throwback and Neon. So I don't know if some of these, um, like, are a quote to that. You know that song that goes, let's dance. Maybe that's a quote to that song. Um, new Romantics, maybe. It's a bit like there was new romantic music. I don't know. I do not know. Um, but we've got 27 shades in this palette. Um, and it's sort of, so if you guys, um, do, if you guys own, like, remember back in, the day when Windows had their media player and you could like change each slide and have like different like, um, I don't know what you call it, like wave things, like you could change it to like this type of thing, like sort of like it goes up and down when the music plays. Well, I think they were taking the idea of that into consideration with this thing. Um, I don't know, but you guys know the Windows old media player, how they went up and down and then you could like always change like um, the background to the music when the music played and stuff like that. I cannot explain it and I'm so sorry. Um, if people know what I mean, I don't have a reference to show you, but you know what I mean. Um, so, so like in the, we've got like sort of, it's sort of like a beat kind of like you know, when a music, when a song is playing and like they have, yeah, that is probably making no sense to you guys. Uh, for a lot of people who weren't around to witness old Windows 7 and their media player and Windows XP, basically Windows XP did have like a thing where it went up and down and like you could swipe to change. I don't really know what that's called. 
But any person who used to own Windows XP and Windows 7 will know what I'm talking about in the media player when you play music. This is taking a while. <laughs> um, so in here, we've sort of kind of got some really nice, awesome colors. So we got some blues, uh, we got some purples, we got some pinks, we got some greens. We've got some pretty average even tones too, which is really quite nice. Um, again, I think they are stunning and gorgeous. So let's get into these swatches before this video becomes 40 minutes long. So let's just go down the row of these kind of things. So the first one I'm going to swatch is in the Let's Dance section. And the first one I'm going to swatch is that really nice icy blue. That's that on my finger. Um, and that's the pigment there. The next shade is this kind of like soft kind of light blue. But not light blue, more like a cobalt blue. And that's that on my finger. It is, they are pigmented. They're a little bit choppy though. Um, they are pigmented, like they're not too bad. Uh, the next one down is a darker blue. The next one is a sparkly matte dark, dark blue. I'm seeing a lot of blue in this. So that's that one on my finger. They are a bit choppy um, in some, but that's all right. Then the last shade of the Let's Dance category is like a soft matte black shade. So that's that one. Sorry, you guys have seen that they are the colors in the, new, in the Let's Dance section. I'm going to wipe them off because you guys have seen them. Um, so the next category, I'm going to go categories and I know you guys are probably going to be like, that's a bit odd, but I think they've done that on purpose. So you can go categories. I do not know. Um, so the first one in the new romantics is this kind of like darky kind of plum color, which I'll swatch them back for you guys. Uh, so that's that color there. The next shade is like a darker purple, which is more like a kind of like darky kind of purple shade and that's that one there the next shade is a kind of really nice sparkly purple with like a metallic tone to it again they're, they're not as great coverage as their other ones but it's it's a decent palette I mean it's not too bad um, then we've got the lilac shade in that one and that one is there so the next one going down is the electronics, electronic, oh, electronic, I'm just going to call it that. Um, so we've got this kind of like warm, taupey kind of uh, transition shade, which I will swatch that one for you. It's more just like a nude neutrally kind of shade. The next shade is like a blush pink or like a peach, that one there. Going down, the next colour is like a really juicy kind of pink strawberry colour. The next shade down is like a glitter pigment with a really nice pink in it. And then the last shade in the electronics is a brown, warm brown shade, which is this guy right here. And that is the electronics. Now onto the next category, which is the... Wild fronters. So let's dip into. So there's this is the first shade here, this little guy here, which is more of like a dark brown kind of color, like a chocolatey color. So that is that one there. The next shade down is a really nice purple one. And that is the shade there. The next one is like a really soft white transition-y kind of looking shade. I don't know. It doesn't really show up as good as what I thought it would. The next shade is a foiled glitter shade, which is a pink, like a passion pink, like a really soft passion-y kind of colored pink. Um, there is the other, the, the other one is a really soft, nice soft pink because we can't go without a nice soft pink to add to a look. And then the last one in the wild fronters is a really nice dark kind of um, pink, which is very dark. 
and that is the Wild Fronters. The next one over is Throwback, which is, I kind of like the name idea that they've named all these, but um, it would have been a little bit cooler if like they had like each single name. So the first one in the Throwback is this metallic plum kind of color, which is really quite nice. And I'll swatch that for you guys. Oh, okay. I like this plum color. See, that's that plum color. The next shade down is like an orange kind of color, like a really light orange, which is that one there. The next shade down is another blue. We are seeing a blue pattern here, guys. We are seeing a blue pattern here. Um, the next one is the like a really nice khaki green that one there and that is the last of the throwback and then the last one of the palette is called neon and I don't know if neon idea behind it was neon colors that were out do not know so the first color in the neon section is this really nice foiled green shade which I am living for you know me and my green shades I'm into green don't ask. That's that green shade there. The next green shade down is a matte green shade, which is that one there. And then the last one is like a really soft peach. And I don't think I would call that neon. I think I would call that more of like a soft color, not a neon. Definitely not neon in my opinion. But hey, make it up to what you think. And that's them three shades there. And that is the swatches of the palette. So now let's get into the eye look that I'm going to create with this palette. And you guys will see an eye look. So what I'm going to do is I haven't put down like an eye primer or anything. So I'm going to do that right about now. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't have primer. Mm. Sorry, I'm eating Maltese as well. I'm doing this. Probably not the best idea. Where is my primer? Looney, right? I don't know, my cap's looking weird. I'm just going to use the Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2. Because why not? Oh. Bear in mind with me, my eyes are playing up. It's like there's something on my retina. I meant on my um, eyeball. <sighs> okay, so now that that is primed, and I might add a little bit more on this one. That's because I don't think it fully got covered. Is my point. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do two different looks. I'm going to do one eye with the multiple colour and then I'm probably going to do my eye with the other. Just because I kind of want to keep it like that we're testing out all the colours. Um, so I'm going to go in with that really light transition shade, which is probably neon and that white one. So neon, the orange one, and then... I'm going to take this kind of choppy yellow one as well and put that at the top. What, Luna? Sorry, my cat obviously wants something. Oh, she's not getting it. And she's not happy. I'm just going to put that just in my, under my uh, brow bone. In a minute, Luna. I'll go get to you in a minute. And I'm just going to chuck that in there. So now that I've put those two shades down, I'm going to go in with the brownie kind of, I don't know, I might go in 
with the pink kind of shades actually. So I might go um, that really nice light pink. I don't know, I'm trying to do like a coloured look for you guys so I could use most of these colours in this palette so you guys can actually see that I'm tr trying to do. I'm probably going to go different on the other eye. And then it's really hard to see. They are very light colours so I might go into that darker kind of shade and then add a little bit more of a darker shade into it just so... You can see what I mean. A lot of the transition shades are quite light, so they're not giving the full justice of the colour is what I'm trying to say. And as you guys can see, it is not really that, they're not that pigmented. As like the other palettes are really pigmented. I don't know. It's just really odd. They're not as pigmented as the other ones. And I am I'm going in with like the darker colours to darken it up a little bit, just to add a little bit more. But I think they're just fading into... I mean, you can see that the darker shades are working, but they're also flicking everywhere. So it's flicking on my nose, which is really odd. And no makeup has done that to me before, except for these shadows I mean they're workable they're workable with a little bit of like effort you can make them a little bit more workable as well um what I'm just gonna do is I'm not gonna cut crease and I'm just gonna put like this really nice pastel it's really nice uh glitter pink into just all on my lid of my eye I don't want to rush do a rush job but I was just trying to sort of quickly show you guys that it is a little choppy. They are, they, they're not the same consistency as their newer palettes that they have. Um, I, I mean, it's not a bad product. Um, it's not that I hate the product. That's not it at all. It's just uh, they're a little bit different to their other palettes. Their other palettes are very pigmented, um, as you guys will see what I mean. I might go in with, like, that dark kind of chocolatey colour on this eye and darken it up a little bit just to give you like a nude eye as well just to give you something very workable see what I mean like the pigments aren't that crazily uh coverage is what I'm trying to say they're not as um as high coverage as their other palettes is what I'm trying to say and I'm probably think that's um so I did, so for this, I dipped into this dark brown and then I dipped into like this kind of plummy colour here. And as you guys can see, it's, they're, they're pigmented. They'll work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take that really nice dark foiled plum, which is this one here. I'm going to put that in my lid with just my finger. Just to show you guys what I mean. It's a manageable look. Like, I mean, you can probably pack on a little bit more. I'm just sort of packing on only a little bit. I think that their foiled shades work a little bit better in this palette than their mattes. Um, so if you want to use, like, this palette just for foils, that's fine. You can definitely use them just for foils. As you guys can see, the colour payout is... It's there. It's it's sort of nice, but very. I I think this palette is for more people that are, are sort of transitioning into colors and want like more of a softer approach on a color. So like it's not necessarily a bad a bad palette. It's just not as pigmented as the other palettes that I have had and owned. So like basically, it's not as pigmented as you know, their, what's one of their palettes? Like one of their Kami palettes, it's very pigmented. You know what I mean? So it's not as the same as a Kami palette, but it, it'll do. Like, I mean, it's, as you guys can see, it does give some color payout. Um, I'm pretty sure that, you know, for a beginner or somebody who's just learning and slowly trying to adapt into colored shadows will work. 
Um, I'm just going to pop a liner and mascara on and I will show you guys the finished look. So this is the finished look. I guess, again, it's very, um, I don't know. It's very, like, the... They're very light, and a lot of these colours aren't dark enough to sort of work on the lid. They're foil ones. I don't are okay, but their matte shades are very um, flaky and have a lot of fallout compared to like their other palettes. I wouldn't say don't buy Makeup Revolution. I just think this palette is, I guess, for more people who. Um, like a little bit less coverage and like like softer tones. I think it's more for somebody who is sort of kind of neutral with the makeup. I, it's not it's not a terrible palette. I have had worse. Um, I really quite like this. I really quite like the idea of it. I just think that um, I guess maybe if you played around with it a little bit more, you might get more of the build-up of coverage. I'm not entirely sure. I know that I've played with this a couple of times, and it's still a bit choppy to me. Like, it's a bit... How would I explain it? It's a bit... Like, the powder shades are very powdery, and they're very... Uh, they have heaps of fallout. Um, and also, they're a little bit harder to blend than most of their other palettes. Um... I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say don't ever go buy Makeup Revolution's products on iHeart Revolution because they have some really awesome other awesome palettes. Um, it might just be me that doesn't like this palette. If anybody else has tested this out and tried it, let me know if it works for you. If you feel that it is still a little bit choppy and you can't really work with the colours and the lighter colours don't really show up because they don't show up on my skin like you have to full on kind of like dig your finger into it to get full pigmentation so I don't know and as you guys can see even like the darker shades that they're darker they're still a little light they're not very dark to me um but let me know if you guys own this palette if you like this palette me it's a bit meh I mean I'm not gonna say that it's a terrible palette it works if for somebody who is definitely into sort of more of like a softer pastel kind of colours and is slowly transitioning into shades, into coloured shades, because I know like some palettes out there are like full on pigment and they're a little bit like eye dropping for a lot of people and a lot of people are a bit like, that's too much colour and I want to dull it down. So I think this palette is really good for people if they are experimenting in colours a bit more. If you are just new to doing colours and you've always done like a neutral eye, definitely pick this up. Um, I mean, it's not super bad, but it's not definitely not one of my favourites from them. Um, I have a lot of favourites from Revolution, I Heart Revolution, especially like their Diamond Brights palette and their I Hearts palette and their Ocean Treasure palettes and also like their Donut palettes. They're quite pigmented pigmented compared to these matte shades the shimmer shades I don't really find a difference um I think these are a little bit harder to the touch and not as soft as the new ones where you just sort of like run over your finger with the newer ones and the pigments there I mean I guess this was made in does it say doesn't say I don't know when this one was made um but yeah I mean, definitely try it out for yourself. Let me know if you guys feel that it is is a little bit choppy and you do not like, you like it. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I don't want to bag at iHeart Revolution because some of the other products are like freaking fantastic. Um, I just find that this one is a little bit like very opaque and not pigmented. It's very pastel-y and not very much pigment to the colours, especially when you use, like, the darker ones. They're not as dark as what I thought they would be. Um, but, yeah, let me know. Voice your opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys um, like this palette or not, if you own it. Let me know if, you know, there could be another, uh, another way of me applying it. I did put eye primer down as well, like, concealer down just to make sure that 
you know, the pigment, like the concealer was going to make the pigment come out a little bit more. Um, but voice your opinion, let me know. I mean, I am cool with that. Um, not one of my favourite palettes from I Heart Revolution, but definitely if you are interested in, uh, you know, trying out colour for the first time, this would probably be a good palette to go with. If you are so used to using nude and traditional shades, this one's probably got you covered for more of like your colours to like, sort of like blend them in and make them like, and have colour on your eyes, but not too vibrant. A lot of people that some colours are a little bit different to people. So this one's a good one for any makeup uh, user who is interested in doing a neutral look or a colourful look. Definitely go grab this palette. Um, thank you guys for sitting and watching this tutorial. Um, have a nice night slash whatever day it is and time where you guys are living. Um, let me know what you think of the... Uh, now that's what I call makeup 80s palette. If you own any of like the 90s palettes, um, let me know what you guys think and if you like them. I um, am a little bit like off with this one, but doesn't mean that I Heart Revolution is bad of a product. They are really good products. Some of their other palettes are fantastic. So definitely look into them. Um, if you are interested in trying that palette out for yourself and working out if it if you like it or not, um, definitely try it. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, I guess you could probably work it a little bit more. You could add a little bit more depth to the colour. I don't know. But th that's my review. And thank you guys. I will see you guys on the next video. See you guys.